Um, we'll go to another question now. Five? In the middle, we haven't gone to the middle yet. Five? Mr. Chairman, may I present Ray Rogers. Mr. Chairman, on behalf of doctors and parents of children everywhere, I need to question you on perhaps Coca-Cola's most reprehensible crime. This is in addition to the company's complicity in the decades-long violence directed at union leaders and members of their families in Colombia and Guatemala and the retaliation against black and Latino workers who dare speak up in Coke's New York factories which have been described as cesspools of racial discrimination. The crime is continuing to aggressively market to children products that you know fuel the childhood obesity, diabetes, and high blood pressure epidemics while claiming that Coca-Cola will, quote, not market to children under 12 worldwide. In a report released on Monday titled Buying Respectability, Coca-Cola and the co-opting of the corporate social responsibility movement, I go into some detail on this issue. Dr. Yoni Friedhoff, obesity expert and professor at the University of Ottawa, berated Coca-Cola for its deceptive, deceptive practices and outright lies with respect to marketing to children. He points out that the sole criterion for entering the Coca-Cola Kids Challenge Marathon in Vienna City, an event lined with bright Coca-Cola ads, is being younger than 10 years old. He also found that Coca-Cola sells at least 719 different Coca-Cola branded toys for kids three and up. At Christmas time, Lewis Friedman found you advertise children's stocking stuffers under $10 for children three and up. Dr. Jennifer Harris at Yale University's Red Center for Food Policy and Obesity reported in 2013 that children under younger than 12 were exposed to more advertising for Coke than for any other brand, even child-targeted products. Coca-Cola ran a $6 million one-minute TV ad during this year's Super Bowl targeting children. When the star of the ad, a child named Adrian, fantasizes about my two minutes is enough, about scoring a touchdown in Green Bay Packers Stadium, a garage creeper hands little Adrian a Coke and says, hey kid, here. This scene is followed by the image of three Coke bottles and Coke's open happiness slogan. The head of the National Consumer Movement in Mexico sent a letter to the general director of the World Health Organization protesting that Coca-Cola, after stating that it would not advertise to children under 12, blankets the airwaves with ads starring children dressed as superheroes like Batman, Wonder Woman, and Superman to hawk their unhealthy products. Finally, photos from Mexico show, and in my two minutes, I don't know how you got those two minutes, I think you cut into it. Photos from Mexico show children's playgrounds and camps covered in Coca-Cola ads. For those who don't know, Mexico is a leader among those countries with the fastest growth in childhood obesity and diabetes, and by far leads the world in per capita consumption of Coke. 745 8-ounce servings in 2012. So, Mr. Chairman, I want to ask you this. How do you lie your way out of Coca-Cola will not, quote, market to children under 12 worldwide? And lastly, on a more friendly note, Maria's father, Sergeant Shriver, was a great man who did a lot of good leading the anti-poverty program VISTA, Volunteers in Service to America. I was a VISTA volunteer, and under Sergeant Shriver, the anti-poverty work I did in Appalachia was chosen over 500 other VISTA projects to represent VISTA on the Huntley Brinkley National News in 1969. So yes, yeah, Sergeant Shriver would be incredibly proud of the wonderful things that his daughter has overcome, the obstacles she's overcome, and the many good things she has done in her life. But, and I want to emphasize this to Maria, Sergeant Shriver would also be so ashamed at Maria's performance today selling Coca-Cola and Coca-Cola's lies to the world. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Rogers. Um, for your usual litany of allegations. <laughs> and
And um, for 10 years now, you come here, every year you choose a different subject. I was just, I would just wonder if you could say, all, what, what percent of all of that you, you just read, you could say without reading it? No, you can't. You can't. You wouldn't. Because you wouldn't, you wouldn't remember any of it. And um, that's... Pl pl Please sit down. Yeah, because right after this meeting last year, this is what you put on the web. How do you think I would feel about having dinner with you when you call me a liar? How would you do that? If you don't do things like that, and, 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 and Maria Shriver's father was a very honorable man, and we started supporting Special Olympics as a result of the great program he put together with Donald Keough 40 years ago. And he was very proud. Please sit down, Mr. Rogers. We've heard from you. Please sit down. You've taken more time. Good. I'll look. I'll look. I'll look forward to it. I'll look forward to it. Please, please sit down. Thank you. We'll take now another question from the floor. If he stops all this, all this, all these false allegations, yes. You're out of order, please. Can we take a qu paddle six, please? Mr.